Hello and welcome to Art of Cooking. So today I'm going to teach you how to make mugu gai pan. Mugu gai pan is a simple stir fry or boiled dish consisting of sliced chicken with button mushrooms and other vegetables such as snow peas, bamboo shoots, water chestnuts, carrots, and napas. This dish is generally considered as an American dish rather than a Cantonese dish. So today I'm going to show you two methods to cook this dish. Same ingredients but different results. One is stir fried and the other is healthier alternative, boiled. Here I have 6 ounce or 170 grams of button mushrooms. Slice the mushrooms into about 1 4th inch or 6.35 millimeter in thickness. Cut a small portion off, about 28 grams, 1 ounce or about 2 inch 5 centimeters of a carrot. Slice a small portion into thin slices, about 2.5 millimeter or 1 tenth of an inch in thickness. Cut about 100 grams or 3.5 ounce of napa. Separate the leaves from the stalk. Cut the stalks into about 1.5 inch or 38 millimeter in length. Here are the ingredients I'm going to use. Mushrooms, napas, carrots, snow peas. I didn't include bamboo shoots or water chestnuts. Next, cut 420 grams or 0.92 pound of chicken breast into slices. First, cut the breast into halves, then slice the breast into pieces at a 45 degree angle from the thinnest part to the thickest part. Cutting this way will go against the grain, the muscle fibers, resulting a tender chicken breast. Each slice should be about 1 8 inch or 3 millimeter in thickness. Again, here I have 0.92 or 420 grams of chicken breast. To that, add a half a teaspoon of salt, a sprinkle of white pepper about a tenth of a teaspoon, 1 4th teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 4th cup or 60 milliliter of water and mix. Set it aside and let it marinate for 10 to 15 minutes. The breast will absorb the excess liquid. After about 10 to 15 minutes, add in 2 tablespoons of cornstarch and mix until you do not see any cornstarch powder. 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil and mix until you do not see any more oil. It should look something like this. Now let's make the slurry thickener. In a cup, add in 1 tablespoon of potato starch and 1 tablespoon of water and stir. Now let's make the stir fry version first. Heat your pan or wok until it's hot. Add in 3 tablespoon of oil. In my case, I have to put in excess oil and then scoop it out to cover the whole wok. Turn your fire to medium high when cooking the chicken breast. Spread the chicken breast out to ensure even cooking. Cook for about 15 to 20 seconds and then flip the chicken over and spread the chicken out. Cook for about 15 seconds on the other side and then stir fry the chicken all together. Stir fry for about 50 seconds to a minute, then take the chicken out and set it aside. At this point, the breast should be about 60 to 70 percent cooked. If you don't have any vegetable oil left, add some more oil in. Add in the hard thick vegetable first, mushrooms, carrots, bamboo shoots, water chestnuts, and napas. Stir fry for about 10 seconds or so. Then add in 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, 1 tablespoon of green onion roots, white green thick parts. Continue to stir fry the vegetable for about 45 seconds to a minute. Then add in the snow peas, and the partially cooked chicken breast. Napa leaves and continues to stir fry for about 15 to 20 seconds. Add in one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine or sake and continue to stir fry for about 10 seconds or so. Next add in 3 4 teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of sugar, 1 8 teaspoon of white pepper, Stir fry for about 10 seconds or so. You can also add in 1 4 teaspoon of chicken powder for the umami taste. It's completely optional. Next, add in 1 cup or 237 milliliter for heated low sodium chicken stock. Add in the potato slurry and stir fry. The reason for the low sodium chicken stock is because that way I know how much salt I need to add in to this dish. Lastly, add in 1 teaspoon of sesame oil and stir fry for a few seconds and you're done. Now that is done, let's make the other one. So this is version 2. 
in a pot of boiling water, add in one tablespoon of vegetable oil and just stir. Bring to a rapid boil and add in the thick vegetables first, mushrooms, napa, carrots, water chestnuts, and bamboo shoots. Let it cook for about 50 seconds to one minute. After about 50 seconds to a minute in boiling water, add in the snow peas and cook for about 15 to 20 seconds. Turn the fire off and scoop out all the vegetables. Reboil the water and add in the chicken breast. Stir the chicken around to separate the chicken pieces. Cook the chicken pieces for about 1 minute 30 seconds to 2 minutes. After about a minute 30 seconds to 2 minutes in boiling water, take out the chicken pieces. Now in a wok or pan on medium heat, add in 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil. Add in 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, 1 tablespoon of green onion roots, the thick green white parts, and lightly saute it. Add in 1 cup or 237 milliliters low sodium chicken stock. Add in 3 4 teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of sao xin jiu or sake, a sprinkle of white pepper about 1 8 teaspoon. As I mentioned before, you can also add in 1 4 teaspoon of chicken powder. Next, add in the potato slurry mixture and stir. Once the sauce thickens or boiled, add in the chicken and the vegetables. Combine the sauce, chicken, and vegetables together and stir or walk it out. By the way, you can also make chicken broccoli just like this, except in brown sauce. Lastly, add in 1 teaspoon of sesame oil and mix. So this concludes the second method of cooking mugu gai pan. Again, the same ingredients, just different results. Serve the mugu gai pan with rice and enjoy. Thank you for watching. Make sure to rate, fave, subscribe, and leave a comment below.